What's up everybody, it's your boy Wes Grant, you're watching Sub Urban Nerd, this is a channel where I get my nerd views on today's nerd news, but also do reviews on movies and TV shows, and today's TV show I'm going to be doing a review on is Season 2, Episode 1 of The Gifted, and I gotta tell you, I was, I was happy about it, like, uh, I was definitely looking forward to it because it, Gifted was a show, it's it's kind of under the radar. I did not expect to like it as much as I did. Like, the season, I was like, eh, it looks like a throwaway, but I just kept finding myself watching more and more and more episodes until finally, I like, at the season finale, I was like, oh, no, nah, really? Y'all ain't do that. But yeah, if you guys don't know, at the end of season one, the Struckers pretty much split up. You got Andy and Lauren, which are the, uh, the, the, the brother and sister, and if they find out that with the Struckers, if you if the brother sister or family put their hands together then it creates this massive amount of power you got Kate and Reed Strucker and you find out Reed used to have powers but his father made it seem like he had leukemia or something like that was giving him treatments but it was really to suppress his powers and he did not know and he and his, uh, his mom didn't know as well thought it was like actually just going in for some things and then the father died trying to protect the son the son's on a run so the whole Strucker family is, is basically on a run with these other mutants who have like have like a hold up in some area but pretty much at the end the government gets a hold of like they've been uh basically doing experiments with mutants with uh powers and then having them join hands together and do this other thing and they went after them took down most of the people the the, the andy the uh he wanted to fight back you know lauren she just wanted to you know just stay out of it and pretty much at the end, you had the Hellfire uh, group who are basically the other side of the mutants that don't want to just stand back and just run and protect other ones. They want to bring the fight and fight for their rights against, you know, the government. And, uh, yeah, Andy went with uh, the Hellfire as, as well as, um, what's, not, uh, what's her name again? Uh, oh, Laura. Laura. Laura went with who's, you know, dating the guy's Eclipse. Eclipse is the guy with the fire, with the life in his hand. So basically, and she's pregnant, and she left to go with them because she just feels that it's a better chance with them than with the, the regular gifted people, you know? So you've got the brother going with him, the, the pregnant girl going with him, and everybody else staying behind. So that's where it's left off. And this season starts off crazy because you got the government taking down like a neighborhood of mutants. And I didn't think like they're all clustered together, so it was easy pickings for them. And uh, they, that's how the story, uh, episode starts off. I was just crazy and frantic. And then you, you see you see Andy, and Andy's older now. He's got his hair bleached, blonde. He's got a leather jacket, just looking cool. And like, oh yeah, I'm I'm badass now. Like I'm like, okay, you do look better than you did in the first season. You did, the first season just looked kind of like. But he does look a little. He does. He did man up a bit. You got the sister. You got the family going through this thing. Uh, the mom's going through this thing thinking that, oh, they took my baby. And then at some point in the episode, they're like, nah, they didn't take him. Dude left. He he wanted to go. Stop trying to fight. And then, like, you know, the sister, Lauren, having dreams about meeting him. And, like, I think it's pre precognition. So this might happen in the next episode. That's what they're making it look like. But then you, the main focus of this episode was that Laura... um. Yeah, Lorna Lauren, is uh, about to have this baby, and you know the the Hellfire crew, whatever. And this is where you you find out you meet this crazy badass chick, Reva. Reva isn't like you know part of the Hellfire inner circle, and she pretty much spoiler alert murks them all. And <laughs> so the whole episode is them trying to get this place so that that you know Lorna can have this baby because even a contraction is moving a car. So they don't know what's going to happen when she's trying to give birth. So they, they make this container for her. And you got the brother, Andy, who's like, yo, I'm there with you if you need help. And she's like, I don't trust him. I think that if it comes down to this baby, I might not be able to have it. And you have to choose between me and the baby. Choose a baby. And don't let them, uh, you know, choose me. And he's like, all right. But, you know, it doesn't work out that way. I mean, it does work where she just, she's not going to have the baby or she's going to die. But they do some stuff. You know that meanwhile you got them trying to find it the mom's going crazy trying to find out any information about the whole hellfire going with the uh, eclipse and almost getting like killed or whatever and it's like some shady place i'm like yo when 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 family or when someone really wants to find someone else and they just don't care about what's the danger hey because in the end it didn't really help them 
it just got them to kind of know a little bit more, but it really didn't help them. Just thinking about it, like that, the danger they took, it really didn't, it might pay off in the next couple episodes, most likely because they have a the disc drive for it, but like that was a big risk, you know what I'm saying? And this dude's got lights for hands. I mean, I don't know what he expecting to do. You're gonna, you're just gonna blind people, bro. Like, uh, can you burn them? If you, can you burn them if you touch them? Because like I've seen him. He said he can blind someone, but from a distance, it's like if people got guns, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure that Magnum flashlights. That's pretty much equivalent to what you got. Some Magnum flashlights. That, that, that ain't gonna do nothing to nobody. They can shoot you with your light bright hands. It ain't doing nothing. So. The risk they took, I don't think it was worth it, but hey, it's probably going to pay off in the end, because why else would they have it in the show? But overall, I enjoyed it. This, the episode didn't have much happening, but what it did, it just developed the story more. You know about the Hellfire Club. You see those those Reva Esma twins, whatever, which I believe they're, because their last name is Frost, so, uh, you know, related to Emma Frost, but you don't hear about Emma Frost, so I don't know what's going on with that. But yeah, you see more of these twins who are crazy, and definitely were, you showed how crazy they were in the season finale or whatever where they just killed off all those policemen. So I'm definitely interested in seeing more of them, uh, seeing more of this Reva character, seeing what's going to happen with Andy and Lauren. Uh, the And then also you got Reed. His powers are re-manifesting, I guess because he hasn't been taking any treatment. So I want to see what his power is. I think it's like his father where he can just make an explosion. So if that's if that's what he does, kind of cool. Because after watching My Hero Academia and Bakugo, your know, explosions are badass power to have. So that's pretty much my review for this thing. I'm not going to give it a grade because I pretty much just enjoyed it. It was just the first episode. And um, we'll just see how it goes. If I don't like the episodes, I'll tell you. I'm going to try to see if maybe I could do this every week. But, you know, I don't know. It's a lot of commitment to try and do an episode, a review of every episode every time. So that's pretty much my thing. Episode 1, pretty good. Not too crazy. But, you know, you find out more stuff. And that's it. So remember, if you like this review, just remember to... Go in the comments, comment down below, because I love seeing these comments, and I come right back as soon as I get them. Remember to put on those notifications, like the video, subscribe, check out, well, I don't have another one, so just pretty much just check out the playlist of the TV shows that I've been doing, so that's pretty much it. So remember, I'm Wes Grant, you've been watching Suburban Nerd, and you've just been notified. Catch you guys on the next review.